Hello. Um, heading home, you can't see her, but Abby is that car right back there. <laughs> I had to take Ashley to her camp this morning and Abby didn't want to get up and leave with me that early to go walking. So she just met me there. My friend also met me there. We all pulled in at the same time, perfect timing. And we all walked three miles. Abby probably got three and a half in, to be fair, because she laps us. <laughs> um, but it is cold, 60 degrees outside. So I may look like this, but I had a jacket on the whole time. And my, my hands didn't get warm until I got in my car. I didn't feel my legs until like mile two. Uh, anyway, I don't know where this weather is coming from, but it's supposed to clear up in the next hour or so. And um, sunny skies, but not super hot today, which will be nice because it is national night out today. Um, I don't know anyone but our neighborhood who <laughs> celebrates National Night Out, but it's because they do such a fun carnival. Um, but that's later on tonight. Um, even with this weather, it will be fine for National Night Out because it wouldn't. It would be fine, but as long as it doesn't rain. Um, but right now, I'm. I would would have walked more. My friend had to leave, um, and Abby kind of finished. But I would have walked more. I have a lot of podcasts that I will want to listen to. I saved last night, and then I. Um, have a book I downloaded um, that I could listen to, but I need to get home. Um, Chelsea and Kaylee and I are going to go to the mall without Ashley. <laughs> we went the other day for that quick 30 minute speed round shopping before we went to Cheesecake Factory and Chelsea does want to go shopping. She just gets overwhelmed when Ashley kind of takes over and Ashley is beep, 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 beep. She's kind of like too much at the mall. And so Chelsea requested she go alone with me. And Kaylee came into the picture and she's like, I want to go with you. And I told her she had to get Chelsea's approval. That had to be okay with Chelsea. And I also told Kaylee, I'm not buying her clothes. <laughs> she's in college now. So you're an adult. You're buying your own clothes. You have money. So she's going to come along with us. I'm going to go home, get changed. I didn't really get sweaty because it wasn't hot. <laughs> so I'm just going to change my clothes. And we're going to head to the mall. Um, and we just have to, we have a small window because we have to pick up Ashley um, after cheer, but it's like five minutes away from the mall, which is perfect. So, um, and then I think they're all going to convince me to go get Wendy's because it's also five minutes from the mall. <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do um, this afternoon when we pick Ashley up and then we'll come home and everyone wants to rest before national night out get ready to I, they've got to get their chalk designs I, I told them like you got to get your designs ready to go we got chalk yesterday like you saw and um, see if we can win this competition this year <laughs> we're a little competitive so not only are we graced by the presence of Chelsea hey, oh goodness sakes but we have Kaylee and we have Abby she's you can see her she's right here <laughs> all three of them wanted to come and it's just easier to shop without Ashley <laughs> That everyone agreed. As long as Ashley's not here, I can do Ashley alone. Yeah. Yes. So we're gonna head to the mall. We have two, three hours, two and a half hours, which is good. So we're gonna head. To we're having fun. Chelsea, do you want to show them your your Snoopy pants? Normally, I wouldn't spend that much on a pair of Snoopy pants, but they're gonna become your new. Uniform. Yeah. These were her uniform for school. Bag. But they're Snoopy pajama pants. <laughs> Given that these pants she wore all winter last year, they were like 10 bucks for Christmas, like Christmas pajama pants or whatever. It was like I think 30 bucks. Like she doesn't, she has like key pieces. I have my outfits set up. Yes. You don't need 20 outfits, you need like five. Yeah. <laughs> and she cycles through them like every week. And she doesn't care. Yeah, you wash them. I'm just saying you don't care about having 20 different outfits. So, and that's fine, that's better for my budget. All right, Abby's the only fun one that found something at PacSun. We just finally did the return for your other short pants. Um, I didn't have the receipt for her exchange of the sweatpants she bought last week. So I had to find the receipt online. Did that. And we've got our obligatory pretzels with cheese from Auntie Pretzels or whatever that's called. And um, 
Now we're walking that off as we kill the last 20 minutes before we have to go pick Ashley up. And I think everyone said that they want to go to Old Navy. I have super cash that everyone's like, I don't like these prices here. Let's go to Old Navy. We can afford Old Navy. Abby's the only one who can afford some of the stuff here at the mall, which is why she has a sweatshirt from Paxson. But the rest of us were like, yep, yeah, we're gonna go shop where we can afford. All right, well, we did Wait for me. more shopping <laughs> than I could pull the camera out for. We finished at the mall, um, we went and got Ashley, and then we went to Old Navy. Um, Chelsea found a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. I was gonna get a nice little sport jacket, but I needed to save money and just, oh, you're really close to me. Um, so I just made sure I got Chelsea some school clothes and and the kids something. So there's a lot of stuff on that seat. If you can help me get that stuff off. But we only have like, what, 40 minutes before National Night starts. Yeah. So we're gonna gather up our stuff to get ready to take over there. There's fries in that bag. Made a stop at Wendy's for Ashley, but then everyone wanted nuggets. So, here, I'll take the other drink. Can you hand me my, I'll, yeah, I'll hold that one. All right, we fast forwarded over to the park. We kind of take this whole thing seriously. We're only the first, like, five or six people here so far. Yeah, the, yeah. there's only two ahead of us when we got here. I'm probably gonna do And the, there's a theme, right? Don't mind this. Um, Heroes Among Us, and I wanted to like do something with anxiety because yes. I wanted to. Yes. And I was like, well, anxiety. It's. Oh no! Don't ignore it. It's fine. Um, and I'm gonna do this. Yes. And like, saying joy is like calming down, and then I'm gonna put like right here, um, like. There's always anxiety in between us. I don't know the quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come up but with I'm something. Do something like that. Yeah, that's good. Hi. Okay, now Ashley, or we haven't, Chelsea hasn't told us what she's doing yet. Got the feeling from the start, you might be the guy who break my heart. Hello. Hello. Even though I took a risk, it is worth the while for just one kiss. I know. I just know it. First place? No. Uh, no, they got top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Number three. Are you here? It was heroes in us. Woohoo! It's you and McKenna. Where's McKenna? And eleven. Looks like it's a trio. Yeah, it's Hudson. All right. Well, unfortunately, it was another rigged election. <laughs> They opened up the vote to like everyone. I like, gave tickets out, everyone got to vote, like the whole community, like everyone that came to the park could vote for, you know, their number one pick. And then they had like top 10, like the honorable mentions or whatever. Um, and they Kaylee- They did include just about everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kaylee and Jacob did get a prize and Ashley and her friend McKenna got a prize for, you know, one of the top 10, which is like, there's only 15, so <laughs> 16. I don't even know how many there were. Um, it just was really unfortunate because the person who won was the, I don't even know if I took a photo of it, but, or a video of it, but it was like, I can't even tell what it is. The theme was Heroes Among Us, and the winner was a freaking jellyfish, and it didn't, it doesn't make any sense why the jellyfish won, except I that. Mean, it was a cool jellyfish, but. Yeah, it was a cool jellyfish, it was, a, it was cool art, but it wasn't, like, didn't fit the theme, number one. Number two, the whole time they were drawing it, they had people going and stealing tickets. Like whole reams of the ticket roll. I don't know how they did that because like they had a one of the head people like manning the the roll of tickets the whole time, but I don't know. They just ended up and like you could see them stuffing like just reams of tickets into the bucket for their for their thing. And so 
Chelsea, I think, is really like sad tonight. One, because she didn't get any prize at all, like not even top 10. And there's only like 17, you know, anyway. So I think she's really bummed because hers was so good. It was really good. She did a good job. It was really good. And everyone who's like walking by on their way out, they're like, why did this one win anything? And it's like, because it's rigged. Like no matter how they do it, like they had a, a, a judge, you know, panel of judges in the past. And then like they had teenagers come in and do it. Like Abby was on a panel of teenagers a couple years ago to do it, but they totally bypassed the teenagers vote and went with their own without telling the teenagers that they were like not going to use their vote. Anyway, can't win, but I hope she's not bummed. Kaylee said she's kind of bummed. So I told, so Kaylee and Jacob are going to go cheer her up. Tonight. Okay, it's not cool. She's she pretty put, bummed. She had, a, she put effort into she it. She grid, grid, did a grid pattern on the whole thing and like yeah, outlined the whole thing. Good. And it's water. a halo. Not these kids weren't even born in. I know one of the one of the top three prizes was like they did the twin towers or but whatever. You, but you couldn't even tell it was that. It looked no, like no and I, I, like we're not trying to like poo poo what kids did. It's yeah, just we the are. kids. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's just the kids contest. They suck. But it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know. I just think a jellyfish and the twin towers. One were twenty three years after the twin towers. Maybe that's not the thing that we need to worry about anymore, but like... Those kids weren't even born. They didn't even know what they, they didn't were even, I know. You, you they just were doing something to like get pulled at the heart strings. You couldn't, well, you couldn't even tell what it was until... I don't know. We're really bitter because <laughs> it just feels like our kids like really put so much effort into it this year. And like people who are walking by and watching them do the art. Like that was the thing is that like people were watching, like adults and kids were watching our kids and other kids like put the effort in to draw. Like they saw how hard it was. They were all there for two solid hours drawing. So it's not like the votes like didn't see the effort. I just, it's totally rigged. Anyway, we're just kind of bummed for Chelsea. I don't think Kaylee and Jacob care, but like, um, and I don't think Ashley cares except for that she knows that Chelsea didn't get anything. So anyway, I am exhausted. I'm gonna go find something more healthy to eat than a hot dog and popcorn and we're gonna sign off with you guys. I've had a great day with the kids. Good. Like we ended up shopping a ton and they all had a great time. And um, anyway, Ashley has to get up again for camp tomorrow morning. So I gotta get her showered and fed decently and into bed. It's already like, what, eight o'clock? Yep. So we're gonna sign off with you guys. Thank you for joining me and the girls today and him here at the end. And um, I have no, I have a scan tomorrow, so. <laughs> all right take care i'm glad i didn't do more than three miles at the park today because i'm exhausted from all the walking that we've done today and i've only walked six miles total so i'm glad i didn't do more than that or i'd be totally exhausted but take care we'll see you guys next time